Since then, Rick Berry, and I told his lovely wife that he's still a, a political hero of mine, because they, people around here know where I'm coming from. Rick Berry is one of my best friends. But since then, we've run four town hall meetings, two on Obamacare, one each on tax, uh, cap and tax, and one on illegal immigration. One of the Barron staff who did attend three of the four meetings had the moxie to thank us for being involved in the democratic process. Albeit the reason we had the meetings to begin with was because the Baron wouldn't. What say ye, patriots? <laughs> Les, this is one too. The Baron actually has a written press policy whereby any constituent is prohibited from video or audio taping public meetings where the Baron appears. What say ye, patriots? The Baron in April at a Democrat meeting here in the county in which 130 local Democrats gave him a standing ovation said, whenever there is change, opposition rises from tired old people that never want to do anything to make the country better. What say ye, patriots? Well, Mr. Hale, we the people are not terrorists. Terrorists right now and for the past 30 years or so are Islamo-fascists who fly into buildings killing 3,000 of our countrymen. Terrorists strap bombs on their bodies killing innocents. Terrorists are those people who are dedicated to the destruction of our country and our way of life. Mr. Hill, how dare you equate disagreement with your socialist policies and those of the Obama regime by patriots who do not want to have the, our very way of life destroyed for your view of utopia with terrorists. Have you no shame, Mr. Hill? No, Mr. Hill, this is our country. We set the rules. The rules are the United States Constitution and you and the Obama regime have basically torn up this wonderful document which was enacted by some dead white guys back in 1789. <clears throat> this Constitution had its foundation in the Declaration of Independence of 1776, which you have also stepped on and spit on. One more time, patriots. What say ye? I'll we'll say it in November. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless United States of America.